electric vehicles or EVs are often said to be more eco-friendly than your conventional gasoline powered engines. But is it really the case? Let's have a look. Today in this video, we have two of the most popular uh, scooters among uh, Indian youth. This one is popular because it is supposedly eco-friendly and it is fast. On the other hand, this one is popular because it is fast and it sounds amazing. It's a TVS NTOC uh, which comes with a 124.8 cc of engine uh, with a power of 9.25 HP with a torque 10.5 Nm at 7000 rpm and uh, this gives an average mileage of 40 km per litre. The Aether 450X consists of a 3.7 kWh lithium ion battery and it consists of a PMSM motor which is a permanent magnet synchronous type of motor and its peak power is rated at 7.2 bhp and 25 newton meters of torque whereas the motor rating is at 6.4 Emissions are carbon monoxide, uh, which is uh, 0 0.335 uh, gram per kilometer, Hi hydrocarbon is 0 0.15 gram per kilometer, and NOx emission is 0 0.175 gram per kilometer. Because of this green badge, you might be thinking, uh, thinking that uh, this is really eco but is it? So, ETA claims that it saved 2 crores worth of rupees in fuel savings and 7.5 metric tons of carbon emissions. But all these values are on paper. Let's see where the Aether derives its energy source from. Talking about the Aether's emissions, uh, the vehicle itself does not produce any emissions. But most of its emissions comes from its power source, which in India it is still, uh, uh, it is still the traditional source of uh, energy, which is non-renewable sources. Uh, which are coal power plants and nuclear power plants. Coal power plants are, are, are using coal which is a fossil fuel which they burn in large quantities every day which produce a lot of carbon uh, carbon dioxide emissions, carbon monoxide emissions and also they, they uh, emit a lot of uh, unburnt fuel into the atmosphere. Whereas nuclear, nuclear power plants they produce a lot of uh, radioactive waste which is very harmful to the environment. And the second part of uh, emissions which comes which comes from the Aether vehicle is through uh, through the manufacturing of its lithium ion batteries. To manufacture a lithium ion battery of Aether, the lithium is first mined. Uh, the lithium is first mined from huge mines, which destroy uh, destroy a lot of environment uh, around the mine, and and the lithium which is mined from the mine is then taken to a, uh, the, uh, to a refining facility in huge trucks which are diesel powered and uh, those emissions add up too. After the re refining uh, lithium, the lithium is then transported to a lithium ion battery manufacturing plant which may be located within the country or, in, uh, with, uh, or outside of the country and over there it is shipped through uh, huge ships, container ships. Which, uh, which burn fuel oil, which is the worst kind of emission, uh, which is possible in uh, which is possible, and then after after it is uh, manufactured, the batteries are sent to the manufacturing plants of electric vehicles, where it is transported through ship and trucks again, which burn a lot of fossil fuels and the carbon dioxide, NOx emissions, soot soot particles, and all add up. Uh, add up exponentially as it goes through its manufacturing phases. In conclusion, the Aether is still more uh, eco-friendlier than the NTOC, but it becomes more eco-friendlier than the NTOC over a long period of time 
due to us using uh, non renewable sources of energy for its uh, for powering it as well as manufacturing it if we switch to renewable sources of energy like solar power wind power geothermal energy and uh, and other forms of uh, renewable energy sources this can be a lot more eco friendlier than a, a lot more eco friendlier in a short time span than the end talk hence we can say that uh, the electric vehicles are definitely the future of uh, transportation in, uh, across the world and they can be a lot more eco friendlier by uh, doing the steps which are mentioned in this video